when you have like this is more nylon material so they're going to be able to suture it a little bit better to the actual sleeve when you have the leather sometimes this will peel back i probably go through three of these per month got Holy it fuck. so um they also make at signature canine uh, they make a, a Bradshaw, which is actually after Jerry, which is as paper thin as it comes. You get about 15 bites out of it before you just get punctured. That's usually my finishing sleeve for some of my patrol dogs, right? So, do everybody see how that's going to peel back? Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. When you guys go up to trials, your safety is paramount. So when you show up, if you're not bringing your own equipment and they're going to hand you something, I usually check the equipment. You're going to look for anything in here that is worn down, holes in it, or peeling. That makes sense. Yep. Got it? Because the bigger dogs, what they're going to end up doing when they bite, and I'll show you how to put your arm and how to put the laces, a lot of them are going to grip, right? And they're going to grip through here and they're going to come through and they're going to open you the fuck up, right? Yep. So making sure I like, I don't like this lace. I like to take mine and roll them over like this and lace them straight up. Mm. That way it stops all the splitting altogether right then. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm. Okay, cool. <clears throat> if I'm going to put on my sleeve, I'm going to try to put my laces on my arm more right here where it comes into this little bone right here. Not so much right there because as I'm working dogs and my adrenaline goes up, I'm going to probably forget to twist it. So I kind of want a little bit more surface. So I want that this part, that, that sort of peak, I want to be looking right at my chin when I do it. So that way when I come in, it's going to bend a little hard, but now this is back here as much as I can. I'm giving them a lot more surface to bite. Everybody got that? Yep. Cool. When you give a hidden sleeve bite, it is never palm to stomach. Why? Because your bones will stack. Right. You got two bones in here that will be on top of each other. You're going to get bone bruises after a while. You always want palm to ground, which take those two bones and now make them flat together, not on top of each other. Does that make sense? The next yes. day you're going to be, holy shit, right? <laughs> and that will be because you're going to get a bone bruise in there. So it's always going to be palm to, to, to ground, not palm to stomach. Everybody got equipment so far? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. You're not going to have pants on when you do the car jack. You're going to start off just in civilian clothes. So we'll leave them on today because we're just going to roll through it. Um, any questions on this when it comes to like your hidden sleeves, picking your hidden sleeves, how to put them on? Nope. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Um, they're going to have you in a chair most likely. Again, each judge is going to have a little variance of like how they have it or how they like it. Um, roll with it, right? Um, if you're going to have to do car jack and then maybe your surprise scenario guy also because they're not going to make you go from any more to handler attack to courage test but you might be in the surprise okay the whole idea of me making you get in and out of your suits throughout the day is because at nationals in oh in 17 I had to do a muzzle attack and then put my suit on I had to do 11 times muzzle attack put my suit on go back out there right so get good at um, for some suits I would just literally take with my shoes you can put Walmart bags over top of your shoes and slide them on your pants really mm. fast if you have to do it right you're gonna getting in and out of your suit should be super simple for you guys because they're gonna make you do it sometimes in the threes cool yep. you're gonna make sure your suit somewhere that you need it that way wherever you're going on the field when you get done you can put your suit on without causing any sort of stim off the field to draw the dog, and then you're gonna to go to your next exercise. So knowing where you're gonna be, knowing where your suit's gonna be, knowing your equipment. We're good so far on that. Awesome. They're gonna have you in a chair. You're not gonna say or do anything until they're gonna load up. In the PDC, the healing is not judged, but in the one, obviously it is, correct? Yes. Yep. Yes. So you don't wanna be the stim, right? You wanna be as neutral as you can, which means don't be fucking, you know, over here drinking coffee and all of a sudden here comes a dog on and you run to your chair to sit down. Be in your spot, right? That is what we talked about, I think, Friday or maybe Saturday. What's a really good carjacker, right? Is a dude that knows his role right off the bat because you're going to be the setup guy for everybody else. You got it? Awesome. <clears throat> They're going to load the dog up. They're going to go through. Each judge has a little variance in what they do, but sometimes it's just, Handler, are you ready? Right? And then it's normally what? What comes next out of their mouth? Decoy. Decoy in. start the action. Right? So those are your cue words that you go into whatever you're going to do. It is a family sport. 
So we're gonna try to keep the swearing down to a minimum, right? Try not to drop any F-bombs. It happens, I get it. Try to be topical, try to be funny, try to be engaging. That would be your, whatever you're gonna say. It's normally they do the, you know, can I borrow some gas, can I pet your dog crap, right? Like, yeah. be a little bit more original than that. But don't be so outlandish that you have to like come up with different things for 10 different people, right? Keep it pretty consistent. Everybody got that part of it. Okay. We're gonna say, I'm gonna touch this mirror again. We're gonna say that would be the dog's head. Everybody kind of get what I'm going for right now. Yeah. yeah. This will be the dog's head right about here. You do not, if, okay, how about this? If the dog comes out and is hanging itself, walk away, because they they failed. Okay. If the dog, if they got spaghetti arms or think for PDCs, this is the first time some of these people have ever stepped on a competition field before. So if that dog comes out and runs, you can draw that dog, okay. right? Save the crowd, save the judge, mostly important, right? Or if I'm on the field, fucking save me. <laughs> right? Got it? Okay. So remember, PDC, rainbow, glitter, we want them to pass and do good, right? So we're, we're kind of helping them a little bit, get over their jitters. One's all bets off. They're going to load their dog up. They're going to say, Handler, are you ready? You're going to get out of your chair. You're going to approach. I'm going to get right about here with my, what I'm going to start, you know what I mean, my, my talking to them. I'm not going to show my nuts and get right close because I don't fucking trust them, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I got a fucking scar right in my face because I don't fucking trust handlers anymore. So right about here, or actually I'm going to be like this, sorry. Right about here, I'm going to have my left foot forward. I'm going to say whatever I'm going to say. Got it? Yep. Got it. You have to make sort of a distinct action a little bit where you're gonna go, okay, thanks, or uh, my bad, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get out of here now, and you're gonna turn, right? You're not taking a step, and you're not, when you come back on the dog, jumping into the dog. Got it? It's a simple action of, all right, I simply turn, and then when I come back, I'm coming back in. Everybody can see, like, maybe go over there and you can see everybody better, because I'm gonna look at my back. When I turn, I'm coming in right here on the animal. I'm square. I'm not in, and I'm not way the fuck out here. Got it? So I want to be, if this is their head, I'm judging, because every dog's going to be different in relation to if they're on a harness, a collar, spaghetti arms, dudes freaking, you know, really fucking, you know, hold on to the dog. I'm trying to see where my sort of contact entry, you know, little point's going to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'm right about here. This is the head. So I'm like, all right, cool, right about here. All right, no problem. I'm going to turn, and I don't want to be slamming, right? I don't want to smash teeth, but I want to just come in and give the grip. Everybody follow me so far? Yep. yep. All right. Then I'm going to square up to the dog as best I can. Now, again, oh shit handle, hard plastic, metal. What I don't want to see is like working a dog in a washer where you're just fucking the dog up, right? If they have that... Uh, sun or that rain mm, thing i've seen those come yeah. flying the fuck off also so the motion is you are trying to carjack them so i'm going to be like more of reaching into the vehicle trying to grab shit and get the fuck out so everybody understand that motion mm, yeah. so it kind of looks like this it kind of looks like a punching motion a little bit you're keeping the dog in the middle you're not literally punching we've knocked out vents before so this is where the aggression mm. sort of comes in a little bit you're hanging on, you're square. Um, if we're trying to make a height appropriate, so if you're smaller, we're not gonna get a U-Haul box truck, right? And being taller, I hate when they give me like Volkswagens. Yeah, little Datsun, right? like little Datsun, Datsun or something like that. We do our best to make it like this is perfect height for us, right? You're gonna come in. If I do, pal, I give a grip. I usually grab on, step, and I'm making this action and your voice the whole time, right? Yep. Now, PDC, which I think is harder in my mind, you got jug of rocks. There we go. Jug of rocks. And I'm, again, this is somebody's car. I'm not smashing, I'm not smashing. And this, pretend now, can't come into the car anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. And we can't go over top their head anymore. So it's a lot of this action or this action, but I want them, for me, we're doing reverse, I want them to see the distraction without punching them in the head, mm -hmm. going into the vehicle, or smashing the vehicle. Pretty simple, right? 
yep. the whole time also you're working so it's kind of like this everybody got that yep. yes in the one it's gonna be gunshot <clears throat> gunshot all right sorry I step palm down boom I go pow right off the bat I come in I work I work I work pow again I work freeze up this is the part that's tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand this way. This is the part that gets people. Again, new, nervous, <laughs> right? And you're gonna go like this, freeze up, out your dog, and some dudes will just go like that, right? The dog might get drawn out a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, I like me, right? So I'm doing this, freeze up, my palm goes right with the car. I come down that way with the car. Yep. I'm not coming up to get rebit, and I'm not coming in to get rebid. Mm -hmm. Everybody copy me on that so yes, far? Sir. Super simple, right? Yep. I'm working, freeze up. Sorry, man, sorry, lady, sorry, person, whatever your pronoun is. Everybody got that. Mm -hmm. I stand here, I'm pretty neutral because now they're gonna do a post alert, right? Where they're barking and then they're gonna do in the ones a recall out, heal, take off their shit. And then what's the hardest thing in PSA, usually the first two or three levels, or first two levels, transition is your transitions percent. going somewhere else. So be mindful of what you're doing to them, right? You don't go, you know, it's not, hey man, how was that? Is that pretty cool? And they're like trying to heal their dog, yeah. right? Like be a little mindful to them as they're doing it. Threes, I don't give a fuck, right? Questions on that at all? Mm -mm. All right, cool. Uh, the second one where you said the, the, the gunshot, 